Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the first game, Light Switch. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Just scrolled game gel. It looks fairly indie uh, with the art direction stuff, and I don't want to play games that seem really high quality, I guess. Like, no, I'm okay. I came off wrong. I'm not saying this game is gonna be bad, and I'm not saying it looks bad. The game looks great, but I'm trying to play games not made by giant companies and stuff. I'm trying to play, you know, games made by indiv independent developers. Enough explanation, let's hop into the first one called Light Switch. You are 12 years old, you live in California, USA. Your mom is usually at work, so you are most of the time home alone. It's the 19th of November, and outside it's raining. You are home alone again. It is almost 10 p.m. Okay, so we're by ourselves. We're 12. We've got to get in a 12-year-old mindset. Five Nights at Freddy! Okay, anyways. Bana bananas. My bedroom? Strange. Well, that's interesting. Got bananas in my bedroom. Turn on a lamp. I get... I got used to being home alone, but I'm starting to feel some kind of presence. It is weird. Rubik's Cube? Oh, I thought we could interact with the Rubik's Cube. Solve it real quick. Turn on all the lights. Don't want to be in the dark. Hello? Mom? Mom, why are you never home, Mom? Mom is acting weird lately. Maybe it is just because of the work. She always works. She should take a break. I agree. Why are we keeping food in the bedroom drawers? This one's got sandwiches and burgers. Hiding spot. Answer the phone. Mom, is that you calling? Where do we keep the phone in this house? Is it down here? Here? Mom? Hey, please go to sleep, but don't forget to turn off all the lights. Love you. Bye. Bye, Mom. Thanks. Turn off the lights and go to bed. Okay. Damn, I kept every light in the house on. Well, let's start at the back of the house and work our way forward. We don't have to walk through a dark room. Why is there a burger in the bathroom? And cheese! What is happening in my house? Why do I... What the fuck is light switch in the bathroom, by the way, so that light must be connected to the hallway light. This one. Okay, we can go ahead and turn off this one, too. Wait, what's this? This is so weird. There are three carrots in the fridge just a few hours ago. My mom left in the morning. How did one carrot disappear? Oh my god! Why did I take note of how many carrots were in here? I think I got all the downstairs lights. I love playing video games on my computer even if I suck at them. So do I, buddy. So do I. So I assume I gotta turn off. Why do we have so many carrots? Hmm, looks like we we're almost out of soap. Why did I write all these thoughts down? I was just like, this is this is an important one. We are almost out of soap. Gotta turn off mom's lights and then bed, I guess. Alright. Alright, good night. Good kid turned off the lights like I was told. Oh, getting a phone call. What's happening? A call in the middle of the night? Yes, mom. He is here. Who is here? 
Hello? What's happening? Who is here? Turn off lights and go back to sleep. Okay. What the fuck? Hey, what are you doing in my house? Bitch. Get the hell out of my house. I'm trying to go to bed. I can't sleep yet. I have to turn off all the lights. What, did every light on the house turn back on? What lights didn't I turn off? What is that smell? It smells so bad in here. Damn it, don't got a bunch of bombs coming out that kid. Lights off. Or one up here somewhere? That's the bathroom. Well, either way, I guess good night. Can't sleep yet. I haven't turned off. Oh my life. There we go. All right, back to bed. Ah. How are the lights on? Should I investigate or just go back to sleep? What the hell, lights? I'm sleeping in there. I don't want to wake her up. She's really tired. Hey, mom. God, we're not. What are we doing? Lighten up the neighborhood? Christ, you know how much power costs? I'd be so tired if you just turned off the lights. I have to work as hard. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, upstairs. Yeah, I'm getting to the lights upstairs. Don't even worry about it, dude. I hope I can spend more time with mom, sick of being alone. I just hear whisper. Hey! What are you doing up here? Ah, the man. The he! Not the he! He! The creature killed you, ending three out of three. Rest space to return to menu. Ah. Well, that was the first game. Uh, pretty good. Nice spook at the end. I actually jumped. I don't have a camera, so you can't see any of that shit. But and I, and I actually jumped. I wasn't expecting that. When the guy was on the stairs, I don't know how I didn't notice. Probably because I was staring at the stairs. But that was pretty good. Moving on. Alright, here we are at the next one. It's called Remote Debug. Uh, it's a game where something happens. So you have to take control of a car remotely and figure out what happened. What's going on what's wrong. So... I don't think I need to explain that anymore. Let's just. Oh. Must be raining outside. Why does it sound like there's like a thousand people in my house? An ominous red door over here. Hundred percent sure what all this sound I'm hearing is. Must be my computer. I guess let's just head to my office and damn it, let me in. I guess let's just not even a chair. I'm a standing desk kind of guy. Connection error. Not establish connection with target subject. Starting remote debug mode. Remote debug mode started. Starting debug process. Oh. Alright, so here we are in this car. So it appears that you do gain speed as you pull forward. You don't turn very fast when you lose speed. Interesting. Okay, so there will be obstacles, so you gotta watch your obstacles. So I'm gonna drive pretty center in the road. You don't turn very quick. Also, I enjoy the fact that it just says crash smiley face. Oh, okay, 
Okay, the obstacles appear to be random. But I assume oncoming traffic will only appear in the other lane because it, that would be wrong if they were in this lane. Unless we're in another country, then I'm wrong for even starting in this lane. And I don't know how many countries do it, but I know for sure the U. What's it? Britain. I, I, the UK is different than just Britain, so. No problem detected. Oh, good. What's that? How do I fix it? How do I fix the problem? Again. I wonder if we can just drive down the center of the road and avoid everything. No, because it goes to the center. You just gotta kinda hug the center. So you can quickly move side to side if you need to. So I assume anytime you crash, you fail and you start over and over. Here's my first problem detected. What? Not sure when the horror elements come in. Besides the fact we're kind of driving in the dark. Currently it's just an arcade style uh, driving game. Which is cool. It's a neat idea to take a, a game like that and try to make it. I'm not sure if I need to drive a certain speed. Little, little chuggy. Need some work on the optimization front. But... That's alright. It's in the new tab, so it just came out on Game Gel no longer. trees down on this road. Should have someone come out here. Why was there a guy standing in the woods back there? There's no obstacles now? Ugh! Fuck! So I'm not sure how long I have to dodge your stuff for. How far I need to travel to complete it? Because it didn't, it wasn't really given that information. And it seems to chug anytime it spawns new assets. In. Sure. So we should have our headlights on. This light all around us is not headlights. No one else's light acts like this. This is a spotlight. Are we wanted by the police? Are we on the run? What's going on? I haven't detected that problem. Did I? There's the guy in the woods again. Can't see him just walk, look out for something randomly white in the woods. It's a uh, silhouette of a guy out there or something. I'm not sure what he's doing. Yeah, he might be the one cutting down all these trees. So I'm just go have a talking with him. Ask him why he's cutting down so many trees. Leave him out on the road for people to hit. The chugging is a little annoying, but like I said, I, I'm not on bad. It's a bad setup. Got a 3070. It was 3080. I can't remember. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, the guy! The guy! The the woods guy.
guy who's been watching us. We just hang out and wait for this train to pass out. <sighs> Long train. Say they should go up. Glad I chose to be patient back there. I also hope that when we do, if something, you know, I hit something, I respawn from that point. Don't have to restart. But if it's not a long experience, I can understand why they make you start all over. Press D to slow down. W to speed up. Sorry, not D. Not S. Maybe I'm still stupid. No, I'm not stupid. Right? Am I? Going on a nice leisurely drive. Kind of interested what kind of debugging processes that starts at a computer. And I'm not. What? Debug <laughs> process complete. Debug results recorded. Please bring debug results to storage. Thanks for your job. Oh. Good deal. Put in the report. Alright, right over here. Tell me what to do after that. Oh god! Oh god, the debug man! No, stay away from me, debug man! Ah, uh, he got me. Is that the end? Oh, debug. The end. Alright, well, that was pretty good. Nice job. Uh,. The driving's extra fun. Uh, I would have preferred if it ended with like a jump scare or something, but overall, pretty good game. Nice job, bro. Moving on. Uh. Hey. Welcome to the last game today. It's called Eleanor's Staircase. It kind of dumps you right in, so. This game looks really nice. The lighting. Work with the trees outside. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, giggler. What you throw the can at me? It's so nice.
You don't need to cry so much. Wait. Wait. Why is it bright? Wait. Oh, hi. Uh, you don't have to do this. You just put me down. You got a lovely smile. Really nice teeth. Alright. Well then, that was short, but... Ooh! E.T. You know. Kinda neat. Music could use a little work, it just sounds like a lot of noise, but... Yeah! Playable download, www.manado.orofo. Oh, and then it just restarts. Alright, well. Thanks so much for watching. This has been a few miscellaneous games. Horror games, I guess. Miscellaneous horror games. And, uh, free to check out the channel for more. Or make sure you go and support the, uh, the indie developers. Make sure you support all indie developers. Make sure you check out games not only not only big companies put out good games don't forget that and i'll see you guys next time bye bye